Hello, my name is Edward Benyus, and I'm the oboe professor at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. I'm going to be playing Fairling Etude Number 25 in E flat major. Before I play it, I want to point out a few things that will help you in learning this etude. This is a slow etude. I keep my metronome on all the time uh, when I'm practicing this. I set the metronome on eighth notes. In this case, it's at 84 to the eighth note. One thing to keep in mind is make sure when you play your 16th notes that it's exactly half of a click. So for example, the first bar. So the 16th note is on half of a click, and even though they're staccato, because it's a slow tempo, it's not going to be too short. Also, make sure that you're marking all your measure numbers so that you can follow along as I describe some spots. 32nd notes, of course, will be four per click. So for example, at the end of bar nine, One thing is, remember this is a slow etude, so you don't want to play your trills too fast. And the nachschlag, those are the small notes that come at the end of the trill, for example in measure four, come right after the last click. Let me play for you the trill and the resolution in measure four. It's a half note trill with a nachschlag, so there'll be four clicks, and right after the four click, fourth click you'll hear the nachschlag. And notice that I hold that quarter note for two full clicks, so it's a full quarter note. In measure 10, you're, you're going to need a breath right after the downbeat. And if you need to take a little extra time as I do, that's okay. Once you start, then make sure you're in a syncopated pattern at the beginning of the bar. And I like to take a little bit of time to make it a little bit more musical at the end of the bar. Let me play from the end of measure 9 until the beginning of measure 11 to demonstrate. Uh, measures 15 and 16 are forte sempre, meaning they're always forte. Make sure that you do that you keep your forte through, sustained throughout both of those measures. And you'll notice in measure 15, a little number two um, underneath the E flat. And that means you're gonna play the E flat on the left side right here. Let me demonstrate bars 15, 16 to the beginning of 17, and you can hear how I sustain the forte. That same principle applies to measures 28 and 29. You'll notice that the high E flat, fortunately, is nice and forte. Play that nice and full. And note also at the uh, second half of bar 29, we have accents on each 16th note, and there's a slur over all those accents. So that means breath accents. You do it with your breath, you don't rearticulate. Here's from the high E flat in measure 28. Here's Fairling's Etude number 25 in E flat major in its entirety.
And if you have any questions about this etude or anything else about the oboe, please feel free to give me an email, which is on the screen, or call me here at the School of Music, 618-53-MUSIC.